Hello, I'm Herb. I'm working on a theme called This Is, as in This Is Full Site Editing. It's a brand new theme that I've created. It's my third full site editing theme. This one doesn't actually contain anything yet. As you can see, it just says Empty Template Index. Now, let me show you the source code of this theme that I started off with. Every theme needs to have a style.css file, and it needs that in order to be able to, one, put in the theme name and to put in the description and maybe the version number. It also needs to have an index.php file, both for a full site editing theme. This isn't actually used. So if I happen to activate this theme and I haven't got Gutenberg activated, then this thing might actually get invoked and it will display this. It says you need to activate Gutenberg and you also need to have an index.html file. Well, I have an index.html file as well. That contains nothing. And there's one other thing that I needed to create for full site editing and didn't expect to, but there you go, was an experimental theme.json file. And that also contains nothing. So a style.css file, which I don't actually need to enqueue. I haven't got a function.php, an index.php file that doesn't get used, and two empty files, and there is my theme. Not very big, and there it is. When you go into the uh, front end, it displays empty template, nothing. Let me just demonstrate. The, this is the theme I've got active. This is the WordPress multi-site site called SB WP55, but it is actually running WordPress 5.7.1. So here is my theme. It's called This Is, and the theme details are, there's a description, there's a version. And there are no templates or template parts in the database. And as you saw, you may have seen in the files, there's no templates or template parts in the file system. So back to visit the website. And there we are, empty template index. Oh, let's just go and demonstrate. If Gutenberg wasn't running, appearance plugin, the uh, plugins, the active plugin is called Gutenberg. Deactivate that. Go and visit the website. It says you need to activate Gutenberg. Reactivate Gutenberg. Go and visit the website. Empty template. Now we can go and use the site editor by clicking on edit site. This is different from the WordPress multi-site edit site link. So don't get confused by that if you happen to be a multi-site person. If, but you'll see it's different because when you click on it, it takes you into the site editor. Now, because the site editor doesn't expect people to have absolutely nothing there at all, it doesn't actually do a very good job of displaying that first block. We saw a little white one appear, and then we saw this little black one appear. Um, the site editor has changed slightly since I last used it. The, if you click on the toggle block inserter, it shows you all the different things you can choose, including patterns, which is what I'm going to pick in a minute. You also notice that that block inserter has now been changed to an X. Now, is this a close the whole site down X, or like, it, like a close this down, or is it just to close that down? I'm not quite sure if that's the the right thing to have there, but but it maybe it just gives an indication that you click on it, to open it, click on it, close it. But there again, if you go and click on this thing here, it has a different way of closing it. It's got an X down there to close it, as opposed to this one, which does down X. Anyway, I'm going to create something in my site now. So index.html is the file that gets used in templates for absolutely everything if it hasn't already found a template to use. So we wanted basically to run a query and display some posts. Fortunately, that's nice and easy to do, we can choose a pattern. So I'm going to choose this pattern here called medium because it has an image on the left and some text on the right. And that's the one I chose first of all. So I'll grab that one. And here we go. It is now pulled in something, it is pulled in a a post, the most recent post I wrote, which is entitled Full Site Editing Is, 
and it's decided to use display the excerpt. And that excerpt is pretty useless because it's got an embed of a YouTube thing, and that's not really what I wanted at all. So maybe I should write some excerpts. It also has a read more link, which is not what I expect from excerpts either in some respects, um, because I can't get rid of it. I don't think I can. I can move where it goes. Anyway, so I have started creating my website with this query block. And here you can see the query block consists of a query, which has been inherited from the URL. So if I was on an archive page, it would be displaying a list of things. And that query consists of the loop, and that loop displays the featured image and, and in one column and the title and the except and another. Now those columns are a bit narrow on the right, I thought, so let's go and reduce this to 40% and maybe the other one will increase itself to, it didn't, it's, so let's just blank that out and see what happens. Right, there's a there's my website, it contains a list of posts, or does it? So I've now saved it, now how do I get back to actually go and view it? Well there's a thing called a preview, how does that work? It, um, it sort of gives me the option to choose how I'm going to display it, but strange things are happening. If it was a preview, then why is it displaying this bit here? Um, why is, has it not got rid of all these things that I'm looking at? What I really want to do is visit the real site. Uh, the way to do that is to either go and do all this weird navigation back through this new bit here and finally get back to the dashboard and choose visit site. This is more expected. Or <coughs> to actually just open that up in a new tab. Let's go back into edit site. Now, the reason I didn't get what I expected is I don't know yet. Uh, because I thought I had created this thing, so it was going to display the query. But of course, we're on the home page, so I needed to do now need to go back to the dashboard and uh, go and have a look at what my reading is set up to and see if I can make it display latest posts. Right, good. Go and visit the site. There we go, latest posts. So here's the post, the one I had written recently. Again, it's only displaying the excerpt, so it's not, not much use displaying an excerpt when I need to see the full content. So let's go in and edit the side and change that one. Right, I'd like to be able to select this one and say transform this from an excerpt to a content block, but I can't, so I'll have to just insert a new block. And I'll insert a post content block. There it is. Now that's a bit more like it, isn't it? So I shall I delete this one now? I'll I'll, I'll move that down to the bottom. Just for a bit of fun. And I'll put a separating between the two. Right, save that one. So I'm saving this and I'm saving the index HTML template that has actually been saved in the database. How do I know this? Because I happen to have done this an awful lot. Right, so let's just go and view that, see what I got. There you go, there's my post being displayed, the video embed is being included, and there's the, what Jane, and sorry, Anne McCarthy said, and there's another post that I've written, so there's two posts on this rather empty website. This one has a featured image and this one doesn't. Doesn't quite look like I wanted to look like yet, but at least to start, I haven't had bitten any PHP and I've hardly done anything apart from click a mouse. So I'm going to leave it there for, for now and um, 
think about what I'm going to do next. Bye.